See you, witch. Someone fighting something isn't right. Can take a look at this with a silver graph projector. If the oracular order really can see the future, then this silver graph plate will tell me what I need to know. Presumptuous, hoping to cross paths with that monstrous assassin. This is what I needed.
Whoa. Hmm? Wait here. Just checking some. What? Blood, Blood flies, Richter. maybe? I hope not. There shouldn't be anything on this part of the mountain. Shindere North Quarry. That's where the Eyeless are getting into the void. I should keep the Silver Graph Plate with me. The information I need could be in the archives down in the conservatory basement, or in the curator's office. It'll be full of Abbey zealots either way. There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through. And that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak. Somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there. Protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void. A fear that grips your throat, bends your spine. But I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight, I'll find out if he can still bleed. This is the place, Shindere North Quarry. It shouldn't exist, but from what I can see, this place is real. At least for now. Here, the void is closest to the surface of reality. Breaking through and spilling out all the fear and power the Abbey of the Everyman tries to hide. You will uncover them more than most. What you do now will change the world. You again. You know I used to wonder if you'd speak to me. I almost wanted it. Every street kid, every desperate wretch pushed to the edge. 
They all wanted you to speak to them. Why didn't you? Why me, now? You know I'm here to end this. You and this disgusting cult. People have come to this place for centuries wanting many things. To elude death, to seek forbidden knowledge. They are never satisfied no matter how much they take. Not even the dead find peace here. You will find another relic of the cult's heart. A piece of whatever god came before my time. You will find the people who murdered me. When I knew them, they had names and ambitions. Now, they wander this place, their minds snared up with terrible secrets, keeping hidden the unspeakable ritual that made me what I am. Deep in the void, they put a knife to my throat and tore my name away. You have found the knife. Maybe you can find my name in the black viscera of this place. If you care to look. Why are you telling me this? What do you want? We both know how a mob can justify a murder to themselves. Who I was or what I wanted never mattered to the cultists here. I will not speak to you again. The next time we meet, you will be face to face with what was done to me all those years ago. Your mind echoes with everything that Dowd wants you to do. But I am here to say that you have a choice, Billy Lurk. Where is everyone? I hate this place already. Why do they look like that? What goes on here?
Payson from the library yesterday. You communed with the eye. Tell me how you feel. From... beneath the surface of these waters. I walked the path of the envisioned and witnessed the churning of the void in the flesh. Oh, I still feel the eye's presence in my mind. Yes, yes. The dead see with such depth. The eye of the dead god sees all our desires. One day we too shall see the truth. I know it. Still there. Are they even human anymore? What? Harry! There's no use running! What? You're not. Your face! Some aren't ready to shed their attachments. I remember one man, some aristocrat from Dunwall, was granted permission to join us here. The fool brought his prize home, as if he could keep it in the mine, as if we don't have enough. by stone, Nozaku posits that envisioned can see us, but choose not to speak. They have loftier matters to ponder when they walk the void. One day, if I'm lucky enough to hear the call and become envisioned, I'll still acknowledge eyeless like us. So you say, but they never do. Hmm. 
Discontent with illusions, only you see the truth. Oh, What's the what? And the I'll take a look around. <gasps> Where did you disappear? So much over there. Bernard seminars? Surely you must, it's essential. The envision broke apart the gate to the ritual hold to maintain the order of our existence. And the pieces exist outside of the passage of time. It is the basis of our semiotics. You'll have to be much more specific than that. Inside the ritual. What's going on? since this all started. It's cold. Dead. But... but still sees. I can see everything, the void, like looking under the waves and into the sea. How long has the Outsider been drowning at the heart of the Void? Hmm. Is 
Let's search your What? So you wanna die? Peace. Touch of the outsider, you piece of filth! This one was obsessed like all the rest. What did he find out? My fellows call it the ritual hold. Some say it is a cradle, others say a tomb. The combination to his safe might have something to do with those strange symbols. And even then, the void itself keeps it shut to living eyes. Truly, the ritual hold exists outside of time itself. It would be as futile as it is forbidden to enter. These are thoughts for another time. My research into this ancient alphabet continues. Some remnants of their phonemic qualities are preserved in our oldest writings. The language possesses an unusual amount of diphthongs, reliant on distinction in tone and pitch to convey meaning. These symbols, I know the very nature of the void runs through them, but is it a dead language, or the language of the dead? Perhaps that could be the title of my next monograph. The mark is the outsider's name, and this says only spirits in the void can read it. Curiosity will be your death. I wish you slumber. Tired of and... waiting for death. Here, I 
can feel it. is what the Abbey tried to hide. This is what the Eyeless want to know about. I'm at the center of the Void itself. And you're not even some kind of horror I need to face down and fight. You're at my mercy. But you've always been at the mercy of bad people, haven't you? You said I had a choice. Well, I'm here to make it. don't deserve this. No one deserves this. I won't let the world turn on someone suffering. I see each moment of my life slipping from my fingers. It frightens me. Dowd? Why are you here? What are you? Look at us. Trapped here, an eternity on a butcher's block, waiting for the knife to fall. There's nothing left of me but this. Doubt. I'm here. Look at me. I know that name. I know you. And with blood, and masks and blades raised. Billy Lurk, I you to remember when you hated me. And now you followed me into the void itself. You brought the knife. I can't hurt him. There's nothing I can do. Only you can kill him. How long have I waited here? Too long, old man. There he is. The outsider. All this time dreaming in the void. I wonder if he dreamed about this moment. Go finish it. End his miserable life. He almost looks like he's in pain. Is this really what you want? Is this really what he deserves? You know how this ends, Billy. I found another way. The Outsider lived and breathed once. He spent his days on the streets of some forgotten city. These cultists took everything away from him. Even his name. But I know what it is. His name is the Mark. Only the dead can read it. If we give that back to him, he'll be free. He'll live out the rest of his days as a man like any other. The Mark? No. You're here to kill him. You can't ask me to do this, Billy. Not after everyone he's hurt. Not after everything we've done. Why is he to blame for what we did? He gave us a way to fight back. He never lied to us about what we might become. You know what I became. We looked down on Dunwall as if we owned it. As if we could drown it in blood. Wow. He knew we'd turn into monsters like him. He always knew. And his belly. He can't do anything but harm. I saw the cult who hurt him. 
He died once at their hands. Look at him. This wasn't his choice. He never asked for this power. Couldn't end it. Put him out of his misery if you pity him. It's a better future than anything that might wait for him out there. Does he have to die? Years ago, I did something terrible to you. I didn't deserve to live. But you let me walk away. You gave me a chance. Let him live, Dowd. Let him have the life he lost. Like you did for me. When you left Dunmo, I hoped you could live a better life without me. That your future wouldn't be killing for coin until someone came to betray you. Forgiveness is a rare thing in this world, Billy. You're better than I was. you out of here. These eyes were closed for centuries, and I saw everything. Bound here, I walked through the minds of generations. And now... You're free. I can't take back what was done to you all those years ago. No more than I can take back what was done to me. But now you have a chance to be something new. To be something better. It must be strange knowing what you know. Seeing with old eyes all the secrets of the world. We've both seen the worst in people's hearts. But in the end, I gave doubt peace. And maybe you can find some too. There's so much doubt. But there are some things I know are true. The Outsider is no more, and with that, the world will change in ways none of us can know. But the Void is still there, echoing just beyond what you can see. And there's no one left to say who will and won't be touched by its magic. is what the Abbey tried to hide. This is what the Eyeless want to know about. I'm at the center of the Void itself. 
And you're not even some kind of horror I need to face down and fight. You're at my mercy. But you've always been at the mercy of bad people, haven't you? You said I had a choice. Well, I'm here to make it. I've seen what you wanted me to see, you black-eyed bastard. It doesn't change a thing. This is how it ends. This is how it always ends. I see. I see. There are no choices left. You've cut away the knot at the center. The rest will fall to pieces. The world will finally change. The world might change, but we won't. Killers never change. is what had to happen. Maybe it's not fair, but I can't think of much that is. I know the guilty never get what they deserve. I know the black-eyed bastard never did. But with that knife in his heart, I've even the score. He died for the people twisted by his magic, the cults, witches, and killers, for all the madness and chaos they caused, for Dowd, for me. And after all this, I'm still just a murderer. There's so much doubt, but there are some things I know are true. The Outsider is no more, and with that, the world will change in ways none of us can know. But the Void is still there, echoing just beyond what you can see. And there's no one left to say who will and won't be touched by its magic. <laughs>